Hey, kids, it's time to get the job done. Come on, kids. Got a hammer and a nail. We're gonna build a boat that sails a pair of pliers and a saw. We're gonna do it all. Hi there, I'm Tonka Joe, and this is the Tonka Town Workshop, where, wow, look at that great workbench you have there. Together, we could get a lot of projects done. There is plenty to do. Just use a tool or your mouse to highlight something, and then press the Tonka Joe button to select. That's the button with my face on it. Now, let's go get the job done. We need to build some more things for the Tonka Town department store. Use any tool to move the highlight to the type of item you want to build. Then press the Tonka Joe button to select it. Or click on the item you'd like to build with your mouse. Select the Go Back button to leave the workshop. Select the style to build. Since you're so good with tools, you can do the building while I read the directions. To stop working on your project, press the Tonka Joe button on your workbench. Use your air can to blast all the dust out of the computer casing. Use the screwdriver to connect the motherboard. Solder the circuit board to the computer using your soldering iron. Use the Allen wrench to screw the hard drive in place. Bolt the cover on the computer using the socket wrench. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use the circular saw to cut the boards you will need. Assemble the frame and nail the floor and roof pieces on with the hammer. Sand the floor and roof with the sander to make sure they are smooth. Okay, use the drill to put two holes in the floor. Use the socket wrench to place two bolts in the floor and tie the rope ladder to them. Hey, you're pretty good! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, Select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your circular saw to cut support pieces. Now nail together the support pieces with the hammer.
Okay, use the drill to make holes to join the tracks. Bolt the tracks together using the socket wrench. Choose a color to paint your project. We'll need the paint sprayer to decorate the roller coaster track. Hey, you're pretty good! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Cut out four legs and cross pieces for the horse with your saw. Screw the cross pieces to the legs with your screwdriver. Drill holes for the head and wheels. Use the hammer to attach the wheels and the horse's head. Make sure the body of the horse is rounded by using your sander. Choose a color to paint your project. Now finish off your horse by painting it with the sprayer. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut out the skateboard deck. Nail the tail fin on with the hammer. Now use the screwdriver to attach the wheel trucks. Okay, that's enough for now. New tool. Lock the wheels on the brackets with the socket wrench. Use the sander to smooth out the top of the skateboard. Choose a color to paint your project. Now decorate your skateboard with the paint sprayer. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use the saw to cut all the logs you will need for the cabin. Nail the roof and chimney on with the hammer. Drill two holes by the doorway for the hinge screws. Use the screwdriver to cut the door to the cabin. Choose a color to paint your project. Use the sprayer to paint your cabin. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen.
Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your circular saw to cut the walls and doors for the fort. Nail the walls of the fort together with your hammer. Now, use your sander to make the doors of the fort smooth. You'll need the drill to make holes in the tops of the towers for flagpoles. Use the screwdriver to attach the doors to the gate opening. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut out the boards for the sides of the skyscraper. Now, nail the sides together with your hammer. Drill a hole on the top of the tower for the spire. Lock the spire in place with your screwdriver. Put a nice shine on the top of your skyscraper with the buffing cloth. Choose a color to paint your project. Use your sprayer to paint the walls of your skyscraper. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, Select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut out the pieces for the doghouse. Don't forget to cut a doorway in one end. Now, nail the walls and roof together with your hammer. Drill a hole in the front above the doorway for the name tag. Use your screwdriver to attach the name tag to the house. Choose a color to paint your project. Now, paint the doghouse with your sprayer. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use the hammer to nail together the walls and connect the turrets. Cut out the doorway with your saw. Now use the cutout door as the drawbridge 
and sand the edges smooth. Use the screwdriver to connect the chains to the doorway and the drawbridge. Drill holes in the tops of the turrets for flagpoles. Choose a color to paint your project. Use the paint sprayer to paint your castle. We're done with that. Now try the next tool. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut out the parts of the rocking horse. You'll need the screwdriver to connect the pieces to the horse. Now drill a hole for the hand grip. Okay, use the hammer to pound the hand grip through the hole you drilled. Make sure you sand the saddle good and smooth so no one gets any splinters. Choose a color to paint your project. Now, grab the sprayer and be sure to paint your horse with a color. Hey, you're pretty good! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut out a base for your racer. Now hammer the soap boxes to the base. Drill holes in the wheels so you can attach them to the racer. Use the screwdriver to attach the wheels. Be sure to do a good job smoothing the seat with the sander. Choose a color to paint your project. Now decorate your new racer with the paint sprayer. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Cut out the pieces for your sled with the saw. Use the hammer to nail together your sled. Use your sander to make sure all the boards are even on top of the sled. Now use your sock wrench to bolt the runners to your sled. You'll need to use your drill to put two holes in the front for the rope. Choose a color to paint your project. 
a coat of paint from your sprayer, and your sled will be ready for the hill. Hey, you're pretty good. If you want to print a picture of your finished product, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Cut out the pieces for the swing set with your saw. Use the screwdriver to connect all the frame pieces. Drill holes for the swing ropes. Be sure to sand the swings good and smooth so no one gets any splinters. Choose a color to paint your project. Finish off your new swing set with a fresh coat of paint from your sprayer. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your circular saw to cut the pieces for your wagon. Now use the hammer to nail the pieces together. Do a good job with the sander so that the paint will look good. Drill holes in the wheels so you can put them on the axles. Use the socket wrench to bolt the wheels on and connect the handle to the front wheels. Choose a color to paint your project. A good coat of paint from the sprayer will finish this project. Nice work! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your hacksaw to cut out the saucer, fins, and legs. Pound the saucer into shape with the rubber mallet. We'll need the acetylene torch to weld the wings and legs in place. Connect the bottom disc to the saucer with the screwdriver. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Knock the chest piece into place with the rubber mallet. We'll need the acetylene torch to weld the rockets in place. Use your hacksaw to cut out the wings.
screw the wings on with the screwdriver. Use the power wrench to bolt the head dome in place. Use the buffing cloth to give the dome a nice shine. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use the rubber mallet to pound the top of the robot onto the bottom. Next, use your drill to make a hole for the robot's head. Use the rubber mallet to pound the robot's head into place. Now, use the socket wrench to attach the construction tools to his arms. Weld the plow onto the chassis with acetylene torch. Use the mallet to knock the treads on. Choose a color to paint your project. Finish your robot with a fresh coat of paint. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your drill to make holes for the solar panel supports. Now use the rubber mallet to pound in the supports. Use the saw to cut out two solar panels. You'll need the socket wrench to bolt the panels to the supports. Use the soldering iron to connect the wires from the solar panels to the satellite. Seal the access door using your screwdriver and then screw on the rocket funnel. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your drill to make holes for the legs. Knock the upper legs into the holes. Use the power wrench to bolt the lower legs to the upper legs. You need the screwdriver to attach the claws to the arms. Weld the head to the body with the acetylene torch. Now let's put a nice shine on the robot's shell with the buffing cloth. Hey, you're pretty good. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut the parts for the boat. Now, hammer the sides, bottom, and benches together.
Use your drill to make a hole in the center bench for the mast and portholes on the sides. Knock that mast into the hole you drilled with the rubber mallet. You'll need to use the screwdriver to connect the rudder to the back of the boat. Sand the sides nice and smooth so it will go fast through the water. To continue working, close the tape measure. Choose a color to paint your project. Every pirate ship needs a good coat of paint. Use your sprayer for this. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your hacksaw to cut out the runners from this piece of metal. Now, use the acetylene torch to weld the runners to the body. Knock the nose cone into place using the rubber mallet. Bolt the propellers on nice and tight with the power wrench. Use the screwdriver to connect the windshield to the helicopter. Choose a color to paint your project. You'll need the paint sprayer to decorate your helicopter. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use your saw to cut out the wings, body parts, and cross ties. Now, use the screwdriver to connect the wings and the cross ties to the body. Knock the wheel on landing gear using the rubber mallet. You'll need the power wrench to bolt the propeller on nice and tight. Choose a color to paint your project. Use the paint sprayer to decorate your plane. Hey, you're pretty good! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, Select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Use the hacksaw to cut out the body parts and two axles for the truck. Now use the rubber mallet to pound on the axles. Use the screwdriver to attach the dumper to its hinges. Bolt the wheels in place with the power wrench. Choose a color to paint your project. Be careful to give the truck a good coat of paint with the sprayer. Hey, you're pretty good! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. 
Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the style to build. Shape the body of the car with your plane. Cut out the stabilizer with your saw. Use the drill to make holes for the wheel axles. Knock the wheels on the axles using the rubber mallet. Choose a color to paint your project. Use the paint spray to paint your new car. Congratulations! You just finished a new project. It's so good, we'll place it in front of the store. If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Select one of the projects by pressing the Tonka Joe button. Welcome to the cellar. This is where I keep all the leftover scraps from my old projects. You can use any tool on this big board to make different things happen. To continue working, close the tape measure by highlighting it and pressing the Tonka Joe button. Select the broom to sweep up what you're doing and start a new project. To continue working, close the tape measure by highlighting it and pressing the Tonka Joe button. You did a great job today! This is where I go to take a break now and then. When you play a game, your best scores of the day will be recorded on the chalkboard. Lucky you! We're just in time for the cheese competition. Take a few practice swings with the drill. When I say ready, set, Go! You'll have to use the right tool as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go! You earned a medal on the scoreboard. The most skilled craftsman can win all six. I like to call this tool tunes. I'll use a tool to make a sound, and then you have to use the same one. 
Then, I will use the same tool again, plus another one, and you have to copy me again. You keep copying me as long as you can, and we'll see how far you can get. When you don't want to play tool tunes anymore, open your tape measure and select the go back button. Good luck! Here we go! Now it's your turn! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Now it's your turn! Here we go! Way to go! Here we 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 go! Oh, gotcha that time! Try again! It'll get easier the more you play! This is Tool Tag. I will say, ready, set, go! And you have 30 seconds to see how many pesky termites you can shoo off the workbench. The chalkboard in the treehouse will keep track of all the termites you catch today. Ready, set, go!
Thanks. You saved my workshop and all my stored up wood. You're a great workshop partner. Cool. It's the wood shaving competition. Move the plane when you're ready to play. Ready, set, go! You earned a medal on the scoreboard. The most skilled craftsman can win all six. Aha! Today is the chair painting competition. Give the paint sprayer a few practice squeezes. Ready, set, go! You earned a medal on the scoreboard. The most skilled craftsman can win all six. Great! You're just in time for the woodcutting competition. Warm up on the saw before we start. Ready, set, go! You earned a medal on the scoreboard. The most skilled craftsman can win all six. Hey, the next competition is fence posting. Give your sledgehammer a few warm-up whacks. Ready, set, go! You earned a medal on the scoreboard. The most skilled craftsman can win all six. All right, the tire changing competition. Twist your socket wrench to show me you're ready. Ready, set, go. Congratulations! You did a great job today! Welcome to the storage room. This is where I keep my supplies of wood, metal, and stone. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, 
grab a tool, and start chipping away. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Nice work! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Excellent! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Excellent! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, Select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Excellent! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, Select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, Grab a tool and start chipping away. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Excellent! If you want to print a picture of your... Now that you have some material to work with, Grab a tool and start chipping away. Great job! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the print at the... Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Hey, you're pretty good! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen.
now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, grab a tool and start chipping away. Way to go! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Now that you have some material to work with, Grab a tool and start chipping away. Perfect! If you want to print a picture of your finished project, select the printer at the bottom of the screen. Here are the jobs we need to do. Select one of the scenes so we can get the job done. The farmers need their fence fixed so that their cows won't wander around the yard. Here are the jobs we need to do. Select one of the scenes so we can get the job done. The park rangers need that hole in the bridge repaired. Looks like some... Hmm, somebody seems to be having bicycle troubles. Perhaps we can help. Oh boy, this seat is up too high for the owner. We need to lower it. Use your socket wrench to loosen the bolt. Now use the rubber mallet to knock the seat down a little. Perfect! Take your socket wrench again to tighten the seat in place. Great job! The last step is to polish the bicycle with the buffing cloth. That was a job well done! Farmers need their fence fixed so that their cows won't wander around the yard. I can see why the cows keep getting loose. That old fence is rotting off its posts. We'll need to replace the boards so that the cows are kept safely in the pasture. Twist your crowbar back and forth to pry these old pickets off the fence. Great job! Now use the sander to clean up the old cross pieces. Scrape off all the old paint and rotted wood. Wow! You're fast! Now take your post drill and drill a hole in the ground for a new support post. That's heavy work! Now grab your handsaw and cut the new fence pieces we will need. Perfect! Use your hammer to pound the new post into the ground and then nail the pickets to the cross pieces. Excellent! 
The last step is to give everything a new coat of paint. Use your sprayer for this. That was a job well done. The park rangers need that hole in the bridge repaired so people can play in the park. Gee, the rangers must feel bad having to turn people away. We better fix the bridge fast so people can play in the park again. Use your handsaw to cut away those jagged pieces of wood in the hole. We'll need a clean area to work in and make repairs. That's the way! Now use the drill to put a hole in those support beams. Wow! You're fast! Now take your socket wrench and bolt our new beam to the two old ones. Nice work! Now you can hammer new planks to the beam and fill in the hole. Perfect! Now use the plane to even out the boards so there are no bumps in the bridge. Great job! The last step is to stain the new section of the bridge. Use your sprayer for this. That was a job well done. The storage shed has sculpting surprises. Are you sure you've got to go? Use a tool to select the thumbs up for OK or the thumbs down for no way. Come on, kids. We're going to build something. Get out your toolbox. Got a hammer and a nail. We're going to build a boat that sails, a pair of pliers and a saw. We're going to do it all. Nuts and bolts and a wrench. Come on now, let's build a bench, a little wire and some glue. There's nothing we can't do. Are you sure you've got to go? Are you sure you've got to go? You did a great job today. I couldn't have done it all without you. See you next time.